Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Another crazy quick hitter edition going up to the great white north in Canada. So much so much to unpack. Uh, it's only been about a week, a week and a half since we brought your last uh, update here on the OG Pod um, channel, telling you what's going on up there with all of the chaos, uh, the wars, the wars within wars, the changing alliances, the uh the volatility the seems to be bodies dropping every day um and i want to update you because there's a lot to update you on uh, the stuff that's happened over the last couple of weeks some context uh some stuff that we didn't know that's happened over the last year that we are finally uh beginning to understand to get some context with uh, being able to drill down on and a lot of this information is coming out uh, from a, a great source in Canada called the Dirty News, and they've been at the forefront of reporting on a lot of this. Well, I want to shout them out and say that a, uh, a nice portion of this news uh, is sourced to them. The rest of it comes from uh, my sources in Canada, law enforcement on the street, and stuff that's available um, you know, for, for public consumption in terms of uh, uh, police reports and, and court filings. So let's jump into it. So it looks like right now, you know, we have all these wars within wars, and, and it looks like uh, two wars have become one now in what's going on in Montreal with the Rizzuto crime family trying to fend off uh, the Hells Angels in a hostile takeover attempt. And it looks like the war that we've kind of been he hearing about in the background going on in Quebec City, more of like a, a war between the street gangs and the Hells Angels in Quebec City, as well as some... Uh, some street gang on street gang um, fuse and whatnot had been kind of the, the secondary, the second tier story here over the last year or so. And I didn't put a lot of attention to it for our audience, but in reality, they're the same thing. We're learning about that right now. So Leonardo Rizzuto has made a move to empower the street gang faction of his organization um, that had once been led by Greg Picasso Woolley, uh, has moved now over the, the, the Celestine brothers or the one Celestine brother after one got killed last month, uh, Jean Philippe uh, Celestine, the butcher. Um, and now it looks like there's been, over the last year, an alliance made with the Quebec City Bloods Family Mafia. Uh, a street gang that took over Quebec City under the leadership of David Icepick. Termel. Uh, Ice Pick is right now, he's in Europe uh, on the run from the Hells Angels with a $500,000 bounty on his head that's open to any European chapter of the Hells Angels or anybody else that finds and kills this guy. We're going to tell you how we've reached that point over on the, the other side of the Atlantic um, through this video. But, you know, again, it's, it's insanity. So, you had what was going on in Montreal between Marty Robert and the Hells Angels, Leonardo Rizzuto, Chit Del Basso, all that stuff that was going on in Picasso Woolley, uh, 22 into 23. This war between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob, you know, former allies that have turned enemies now. Uh, and the Black, or excuse me, the Blood Family Mafia and Termel has become a big piece of this puzzle now um it was a play by by Rizzuto to back this guy up I'm, I'm told that they were connected uh to to Tremel via one of Tremel's uh lieutenants is a is a cousin of the Rizzutos and it's like you know your enemy's enemy uh becomes your friend so as Tremel was organizing in Quebec City, getting all of the street gangs in Quebec City to come underneath the umbrella of the, the Bloods Family Mafia and push back on this longtime street tax that the Hells Angels in Quebec City have always levied on the street gangs. 10% uh, of all your illegal profits would go to the uh, Quebec City Hells Angels. Termel organized against it. Uh, and war broke out in Quebec City just at the same time war was breaking out in Montreal. We now find, we now found out find out that these these wars are connected. Um, the Quebec City Hell's Angels are a formidable group, uh, a group that's kind of known more as a 
family business, like mafia group, more so than other Hells Angels. The Pelletier family is kind of the, you know, the the mob Hells Angels mob like dynasty there with a couple other families um, involved as well. And Tom Pelletier was the uh, longtime leader of the Quebec City Hells Angels, was a, a trusted a valued member of the inner circle of Mom Boucher uh, and, and his uh, leadership uh, and, and rise to power in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I believe the Quebec City chapter opened in 1988 and uh, again, uh, has built itself into a real, a real force. And uh, Termel and the Pelletiers worked together for a while. Uh, they, the the Pelletier, uh, Pelletiers were were supplying Termel and the Bloods Family Mafia uh, in their drug activity. And then when this all went south, the, the Pelletiers became the targets. And uh, Matt Pelletier, who is this kind of the, the, the mob, or I keep on saying the mob, the Hells Angels Prince in Quebec City, Tom Pelletier's uh, son, uh, was uh, a Red Devil for a while, big support club of the Hells Angels. He passed into the Hells Angels Quebec City chapter a couple years ago. Um, again, him and Termel were uh, working together. And then as this war broke out, Termel uh, allegedly or orders a, a, a murder contract on Pelletier. His house is uh, riddled with bullets in a drive-by. Uh, last summer, Termel and his right-hand man, bodyguard, Rubens uh, Denise, take off uh, to Europe when an a indictment l lands naming... Uh, you know, two dozen uh, Bloods family mafia members. So he's in uh, Canada. I'm being told he's being, you know, uh, shuffled between Rizzuto mobs, safe houses, being protected by the Rizzutos uh, in Canada, places like Portugal, uh, Sicily, Spain. Um, and you had a, a peace offering uh, last fall that came from a very respected Quebec City Hells Angels, a former sergeant at arms, a uh, elder statesman right now, or middle-aged statesman, uh, a guy they called uh, Mario uh, Bananas Auger, or the Banana, uh, a guy that uh, very respected, very feared. He allegedly made a trip uh, over to Portugal at some point late 2023, early 2024, with a peace offering to Termel. Termel wouldn't see him, rejects the offer. Uh, Augier comes back to Quebec City. Things are not good and not moving in right, uh, not moving in a positive direction. And now this brings us to what's happening at this very moment. A couple weeks ago, uh, some members of the Black, I keep on saying Black, a, a couple members of the Bloods family mafia lieutenants of uh, David Termel try to kidnap uh, Mario, the banana auger are unsuccessful in that, but they end up hours later or days later, kidnapping some of his cousins. Uh, they hold them for ransom. They torture them. Uh, they start cutting limbs off toes, fingers, ears. And, uh, one of them is able to escape and kills a, a top Lieutenant of Termel's, a guy named Patrick Martin, who went by the nickname R.I.V. And uh, he was killed uh, by taking these guys hostage to get to escape. He's stabbed to death and then shot to death by one of Augier's cousins. I'm told that now uh, Augier and a number of Quebec City Hells Angels are now back in Europe, along with a number of European Hells Angels chapters hunting, trying to kill at all costs, David Icepick Trammell. This seems to be another miscalculation by the Rizzuto mob. We didn't know all about this a year ago, six months ago. It's all kind of coming to light now. Um, but it was a, a, a play on the chessboard to make this, I, I would. I, I don't want to say it was an alliance because, well, it was an alliance with, with Bloods Family Mafia, but in terms of the street gang faction of their group, it all, uh, that part of the organization's arsenal, I think it all, had always been more supplemental uh, and, you know, the, the real uh, hardcore enforcers, muscles, hitmen were from the Rizzutos themselves or the Hells Angels. Now they're, you know, 
at odds with the Hells Angels. Their ranks are depleted because this war has been going on. You know, the overarching war has been going on for 15 years. They're turning to the street gangs as kind of, I see it, as kind of like a Hail Mary. The Hells Angels are, you know, they have an, just the endless amount of resources, soldiers, uh, weapons, um, and they're global. So right now, Marty Robert, the architect of this hostile takeover attempt uh, of the Rizzuto family, the most powerful uh, Hells Angel right now in Quebec, maybe in all of North America, uh, has a open contract on Ice Pick Tremel, half a million dollars for anybody that finds him and kills him. Uh, and I'm told that a number of Quebec City Hells Angels, including the banana himself, are in Europe looking to carry this out. Um, another thing that we should mention is that uh, Rubens Dennis, who is Ice Pick Tremel's right hand bodyguard, was just arrested this week in Lisbon, Portugal, uh, Interpol. Uh, took him into custody at a hotel. He's going to be extradited back to Canada within the next couple of weeks. No signs of David Termel, though. Uh, and again, he's running for his life. I'm just going to go through some notes here. Uh, I know that another group that has people out in Europe looking to collect on that contract is Tupac Atna, the new godfather of the street gangs in Quebec, anointed by Marty himself alleged to be the person that, uh, or is considered, I would say, by uh, the SQ as the number one suspect in the uh, Greg Woolley murder back in November. I've been told he has a half dozen uh, of his men in Europe looking to carry out the contract. Um, and then as we wrap up here, it, it should also be noted that aligning with the uh, Bloods Family Mafia also brings you the group called the Prophet Boys. And I know that Rizzuto, I'm being told, has also turned to a, another biker club to get reinforcements from uh, called the Vikings, which is kind of a hybrid biker club, drug gang, um, mob on wheels, I guess. So it, a lot of moving parts here. I'm going to try to keep everybody updated the more this thing goes along. But uh, it's just getting crazier by the minute. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod, I'm out.